You may have a thought, well, you know, I don't know if that, I don't even know, I don't even know if that really works or not. Well, that's what happens. And he begins to steal. He'll steal the word that God, trying to, God is trying to sow in your hearts. And you have to realize also that God is no respecter person. He loves everybody the same. He treats everybody with equality, equal. There's no difference. So the same word that's falling is falling for you. The same word that's being sown is coming to you. You can look at someone else and say, boy, look at that life. They're blessed. They're a man of faith. They're a man of God. They're one with God. Yeah, but he's sowing the word to you just like he sowed the word to them. It's just what they've done with it. Now, what are we going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? So, i tell you one thing. Don't let the devil have it. Amen. Now, verse 16 says, And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground. Now, notice stony ground. Who, when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness. Now, listen to this. Immediately. You say, boy... You're hearing that, and you say, that's the best thing I've ever heard in my life. This is news to me. I've never heard anything like this. By his stripes, you mean, you mean he, they, they striped his back so that I could be healed, and, and he actually healed me? Yep. Well, that's the best news I've ever heard. You mean he took my sin, bore my sin on the cross at that I don't have to be a sinner. He took our sin, that we could be the righteousness of God. Yes. That's the best news I've ever heard in my life. See? You mean, you mean I don't have to try to live right so I can get to the place to be right? Nope. Nope. He did it for you. He, he took your sin. Well, that's the best news I've ever heard. But wait a minute now. <laughs> and, they start, and they start, wow, that's great. That's awesome. And it says here, they receive it with gladness. But, and they have no root in themselves. And so endure, but for a time afterward, when affliction, now listen to this, when affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. What did, first of all, we have to realize this. What did, it, what did these things come for? For the word's sake. Because of you? No. No, no, no. Not because of you. Because of what you heard. The word came in. The word comes in. You receive that word with gladness. You say, man, that's the best news I've ever heard. That's awesome. But let persecution come. Or let affliction come, and immediately they are offended. Why is this happening to me? I don't understand. If God said this, why isn't it like this? Well, first of all, now remember this. this is, see, all this is, uh, this is line upon line, precept on precept this morning. God cannot lie. <laughs> see, God has not said anything to you that is not the absolute truth, and you can count on it. He will not. He will, he won't variate from it. It is just like what he said. So when affliction or persecution comes, you don't understand why it's coming. You think, well, people's against me. They're just doing me wrong. They're doing this and that. No, it is the it's the enemy coming, bringing these things to steal the word of God out of you. And if, and if you listen, you'll become offended. You have to get it down in your heart. This is what God said. I choose to believe it, and nothing is going to change it. If I have to endure, I'll endure. If I have to believe against all odds, which the odds don't matter, God is true, I'll do it. If I have to stake my life on it, I'll stake my life on it. Amen. Not just when things are going good. Now, now he says this. These are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word. Now listen to this. The, uh, sown among the thorns, such as hear the word. And the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things entering in, Choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. 
Now notice what he said here, because this is, this is where a lot of people are when it comes to the Word of God. You hear what Jesus said. You hear the promises of God. And here comes the cares of the world. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do about this. You know, here comes a care. Here comes a, here comes a pressure. Well, I don't, wait a minute. Yeah, we know what we're going to do. We're going to believe God. We're going to trust what he said. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Man, it's getting bad. I, you know, the pressure's on. What am I going to do? I'm pressured to make a decision. I'm pressured to do this. No, we're going to do what God said. Those things will come to, to, to steal God's promise from you. Notice here, the deceitfulness of riches. How many people do you think fit that category this morning? Deceitfulness of riches. If I had more money, if I had more money, Money, if money, money, money. Oh, if I just had this, if I, and, and, and it's not also that. Uh, 